Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. We have a lot of exciting stuff to do in this episode. I know I say that every episode. I'm excited for every episode, but we do have a good amount of stuff to get into here. Um, also, before we begin, I do want to just say I am getting over a cold, so if I sound stuffy or different at all, that's why. I, I, I rested plenty, I like drank water, I slept pretty much all day yesterday, so I, I rested, I've taken care of myself. But I, th th this was like the only day I would be able to record this, otherwise I'd have to wait like another week. So we're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and record this. But in this episode, I know the last episode was a bit more of a filler episode. It was a lot of fun, but we had uh, mostly focus on like the toddlers in the last episode. In this episode, of course, you guys saw the machinima and we can talk about that a bit more later. We can talk about the story posts and all of that later. Actually, well, let's talk about that now really quick. Um, actually, wait, okay, before I do, um, we are, going to in this episode we're going to get to see sterling and cedric and they're gonna go on their movie date which i'm very excited for and cedric is very excited for and then we are going to be we're gonna um john and genevieve are going to be doing ivf so they are going to be hopefully getting pregnant so we'll do that and then gabriel and aria we're gonna go to see they're gonna adopt their baby and then we're going to focus on the teens our teen group they're going to be in tartosa for the weekend and they're having a group outing and we'll talk about more of our story stuff later. So we'll we'll talk about it when we do that. And then, yes, so for the story post from the last episode, it was pretty much everything you guys have already seen. It was the talk with Alice May and Jabari and with Amira and Alice May. So we got to see all of that. And of course, just in more depth was what the story posts went into. And then we did see another story post, basically kind of checking in with Kaleo, kind of seeing where he's at, kind of seeing that like all the stuff that he has been doing um, isn't really changing his feelings on, on Alice May really. Of course we saw that in the machinima too so we'll get into more of that later. And then I also did a post for Valentine's Day. I thought it was a great time to do this but it was like essentially William and Frederick's birthday party when Alice May and uh, not Cedric, Alice May and Caspian, they got to go and they got to like be public there for the first time and of course now they're public 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 and people know about them so that's so so exciting for them but yeah okay so first first things first let me get my headphones on we'll see how this goes I'm, I've been wearing these when I stream and I'm, I'm not used to them so we'll, we'll see how this goes okay so this is Sterling and Cedric they're going to the movies for the first time and we're gonna see how this goes oh there's also of course more stuff we can talk about in the next episode or not in the next oh my gosh I'm so sorry my brain there's more stuff we can talk about in a bit that being the new pack that's coming out and and all of that stuff which I am very very excited for in the new pack apparently there is like a movie the like you can go to the movies but apparently it's a rabbit hole so I did download a mod for us to go to the movie theater and it doesn't work unfortunately it's supposed to have like a lot trait for the cinema and that was just not showing up so I don't really know what's going on oh hello oh my gosh did you guys see what was on the TV okay well this might not be pretty Preteen appropriate. Um, wait, okay. We are having them go here for the movie. So this is just a lot that I downloaded from the gallery. I'll put the creator, the information in the on the screen if you guys care to see. I have a step. Oh no! Oh oh gosh! Okay, well I put bodyguards here, but this bodyguard is like in the floor. I I, I figured. Oh, it's like two seems like ideal, right? So essentially though, there's only a couple other people in the movies. Oh, we, we know Cedric has been. Looking Looking forward to this for a long time. I feel like, let's see, why don't you guys, oh, what are you doing? You are, it is, it's rather bright, but you're playing video games right now. It begins. I don't know if Cedric would be as into video games as Alice May. Like, I feel like he would play when Alice May plays, uh, when Alice May plays, but I don't know if he would like, like Alice May like plays on her own time, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no, but okay. You, <laughs> why don't we watch a different movie? Because I don't know why this shirtless uh, sim keeps showing up on the screen. Let's see, watch movie with what, what? Should we do like a scary movie? I feel like uh, I feel like that was popular to go see in middle school for like a, a, a date. I don't even know if it was a date. But um, watch Sims of the Dead with oh is Nia here? Okay. <laughs> with Sterling. <laughs> 
Um, so we're gonna have them watch and will they sit on their own? Well, I guess we'll find out. I thought this movie theater worked out pretty well. I j oh no, who are you? Okay, this Sim is literally... <laughs> <laughs> Did Jabari pay for the sim to be here? Yeah, just go away. We're, we're gonna kindly ask you to leave, please, sir. Okay, Cedric has moved over to sit next to Sterling. They are so far the only- oh my goodness, oh my gosh. They are the only ones- I thought, like, the movie, like, what was shown on TV, don't they usually, like, in the sim show was, like, what's- like the Sims from previously. So like, this is the Sims three, but what we were watching earlier, wasn't that the Sims four? So do they just like do that sometimes? I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay. I think it's funny that they're kind of the only ones in the theater. I'm really sad that the movie theater mod didn't work. It was supposed to like, it was supposed to get like a cinema lottery and I did not see that. So I'm not entirely sure what happened. I'll have to look into it. Maybe something's confi conflicting or maybe it needed to be updated with like this new batch of, of updates that we got. So we'll, we'll see, but I, I, I wanted them to be able to go to the movies. And of course, it's just probably going to be a rabbit hole um, when we do it. Oh, that's loud. Um, when we get it with the new pack, which I'm so excited for. So we're getting growing, growing together, right? Growing together. And we're getting a infant, like we're getting a new life stage, which we'll definitely talk about later because it will apply later. But I am, I'm so excited. Generations was like my favorite pack from The Sims 3. It didn't even come with a new world. Oh yeah, this one is coming out with a new world, which we'll talk about later too. Um, but it, it didn't even come with a new world, but Generations is just like, it added so much. So I'm hoping that this, you know, this pack is a lot of fun and very good. Um, the new world that we're getting, oh, this is kind of terrifying. The new world that we're getting is going to be, I've heard kind of like San Francisco and since Delso Valley is kind of like Hollywood, LA, I guess, but it's not a part of a kingdom and I really don't think that San, San Sequoia is that what it's called? It's probably, I, I, no, we're not adding a new kingdom. I want to make that very clear. I know a lot of people usually ask me that every single time we get a new world, um, but we are not. I might have to see the world to figure out what to do with it. It might just kind of be like a general territory like Delso Valley is. Delso Valley doesn't really belong to anything in particular. So we'll see. No, no new uh, families though. <laughs> just, just to make that clear, um, it might be added on to like a different kingdom. I would prefer one that like doesn't have a lot of land, but we'll see. We'll, I'll, I'll figure out what to do with it. I think I have to kind of just like see it first. Um, so we will see. Also, this is reminding me. The, <laughs> the scary movie is reminding me. I don't know if anyone else is like this. Anyone who doesn't like horror movies like me, I, I cannot watch them. I don't like them. I remember in like middle school or high school when like the movies was kind of like the place to go if you're hanging out with friends, especially like before you could drive and that kind of stuff, at least in my town. But then I always wanted to go see a scary movie, which I hated. I cannot watch scary movies. So every time I would go, I would bring earphones and a hoodie and I would put the hoodie over me. And I would listen to music the entire time. I would pay to go and listen to music and not watch the movie the entire time, but I just like wanted to go hang out with my friends. I am so curious if anyone else did that or if anybody else like had a, a thing they would do if they hated horror movies. Anyway, this horror movie thing is reminding me of that. I feel like Cedric, Cedric gives me the vibes. Well, I don't know. I feel like I could see him liking horror movies and I could also see him not liking horror movies. Like Jabari and Amira, I could see not liking horror movies and like not subjecting their children to that. Elsa definitely doesn't like horror movies at all. Said, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I feel like if Sterling suggested a scary movie, I feel like Cedric would say yes, forgetting that he doesn't like scary movies. So I feel like Cedric is like trying to put on a brave face and just maybe, I mean, he's talking to Sterling this entire time. So, oh no, Sterling, where are you going? What does it say? Uh, chat with, oh, okay. He just decided to stand up, I guess. Sentiment gained, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. <gasps> Yay, they're getting sentiments, guys. I was kind of hoping to like up their relationship a bit because they didn't really have that high of a relationship. I feel like they didn't know each other that well, but like Cedric has a crush on him. So like, I, I felt like it made sense to have the pink bar be higher than the green.
green bar. Although, it seems to be going up a little bit now. I feel like you should get to know him. What what does get to know Sterling a bit? Uh, yeah, get to know. Let's let's talk to him a bit more. Be like, so what what? I, I, I was, <laughs> what do you do? We know exactly what he does. He's an actor. I feel like Sterling is one of the. <clears throat> What, 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 what would be the like equivalent? Also, I feel like I'm yelling with, I, this is why I don't like these kind of headphones. I feel like I'm yelling when I have them on because I can barely hear what's going on around me. So if I'm yelling with these, if I'm slightly louder, I apologize, but I, I do need to hear what's going on. Um, so I, I, I feel like Sterling is pretty famous. I want to, oh no, oh, did the, the relationship went down. Oh, Aisha, Aisha, why are you here? Aisha? I, Aisha doesn't seem like the type that would go to the movies. I'm going to have to kindly ask you to leave, Aisha. I don't know why you would be here. Maybe she's around here scoping out for fashion stuff. Friendly introduction. You know Aisha. Okay, well, you know, we'll worry about that later. Go away. Uh, you should know Aisha. Um, although Aisha doesn't seem like the type that would talk to Cedric all that much. But, oh, is the movie over? Is the movie already over? Oh, the, the, the relationship went down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to say he's like, I feel like Sterling is not quite quite as famous, but almost as famous as like Justin Bieber was when he was Sterling's age. <laughs> Maybe not like that famous because I think the, the singing had something to do with it, but like, I'm trying to think of what another like, was the kid from Home Alone all that famous when he was like, I don't, I, he, hmm. I feel like he'd be more famous than that. Yeah, anyway, the, I'm trying to think of like fame level. Do we actually, 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 does the what is in game match up to um, what I'm talking about right this second? Because that happens sometimes. How famous are you in the game, Sterling? Not at all. You're unknown. That's my bad. I need to change that right now. We'll see. Proper celebrity? I think he's pretty famous. Or B-lister. Let's go with B-lister. During this time that we know Sterling, like since we've met him, he's like getting more and more famous. Like he's he's getting more and more famous roles. Okay, so Sterling's Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, Diana! I love how people are just kind of coming in and checking on them uh, throughout here. It's, it's kind of funny to me. Hi, Diana. Did you want to check on your nephew? Discuss horror scene. Why would she be here? I don't know if she would actually be here. I feel like it's not very common at all for the royals to be going to a movie theater. I feel like, well, I don't. Maybe. Oh well, actually, I guess they would go to like grand movie theaters if there's like a premiere that they're going to. Like that's where that's where Sterling. Sterling and Cedric met was a movie premiere. Okay, so I take it back. Never mind. Anyway, so I, I just, I like to theorize these kind of things in my world. I'm always like, hmm, how would this work with the royals? But yeah, okay. Overall, I, I think we have gotten to know Sterling a bit. English pester. Ask if mermaid. He's definitely not. Discuss horror scene. Be like, so do you actually like horror movies? <laughs> but I think overall this went well. I think it's hilarious. Who are you? These people keep coming and like sitting right in between them. Although of course now they are letting that seat be there, but like there's so many seats in the theater. Look at this. There's so many seats. This is the bodyguard. So many seats and they choose to sit like right in between them. I find that hilarious. I mean, overall, I think this was a fairly successful movie date for them. I guess we'll we'll see them a bit more some other times, but they got to go on their first date to the movies, which is a lot of fun. It took uh, plenty of convincing, but now they, they've gone. On and um, we'll we'll see them. We'll probably see more of Sterling and Cedric another time. Okay, now I have Bubbles. He is joining us. He 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 was licking a little bit too much. If anyone knows on my streams, that's like what he's not supposed to do because like the vet says he needs to stop licking so much. So to keep him from licking, he's gonna be hanging out here. You're just a baby. Okay, you gotta baby. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta play The Sims. He's just staying here. Guys, guys, he's just, look at this. What? Bubs, you standing there all on your own? Okay, well, you know, I, I mean, I guess that this is gonna be a little bit difficult. Okay. Okay, so, okay, all right. He's, he has sat down now. I, I do need to get it like slightly closer to the mic or I'll bring the, I'll bring the mic to me. Bubbles is like right against the mic. Oh my goodness. All right, so we, I, I've just kind of had Genevieve and John stay here. This is the other palace I showed you guys for their wedding that Riley made. Um, and they've 
just kind of been living here. Oh, that is, oh, I don't know who that is. Oh, he just, like circled around back to Corinne, but that is definitely Corinne. So John and Genevieve are, are ready to have kids. I've mentioned this before. Genevieve like realized later in life that she is ace. And so they are going, oh, ignore the, oh, I have to actually replace these portraits. Riley made this for his royal family. So I have to replace the portraits with my royal family. Um, but they're going to do IVF because they do want kids. They just obviously like John wants Genevieve to be comfortable too. So we're going to try IVF. So let's, I think I, we do have to talk to John about it. Technically we have already, like I, I imagine they've definitely talked about it already. This is still set up. This is where they got married. So this is kind of still set up for their wedding. Relationship, family, pregnancy, alternative pregnancy, discuss opting for artificial insemination. Okay, let's see. He's so dressed up. He's in a tux. Genevieve is so cute. I love her in this little outfit. Alternative conception. Princess Jen asked John if they could try artificial insemination. Yes, John is totally on board. Yes. All right, let's look into this. Cool. Okay, so this is the uh, relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod, by the way. I can't, I, it used to be called Woohoo Wellness. It is, it's not technically anymore. So um, relationship, family, and pregnancy, alternative pregnancies, attempt artificial insemination. Okay, cool. In vitro, vitro, vitro. Yes, so we're, we're, we're gonna do this. Um, artificial insemination source. Would Princess Genevieve rather look through portraits to pick a source for the artificial insemination, or would she rather have the lab pick a sample at random? No, we, well, we want her husband. Oh dear. Oh my God, Ellis. Um, Frederick, wait, hold on. Oh good, John is an option. I was like, oh no, wow, every, literally everyone is on here. Oh my goodness. But no, we want John. <laughs> Okay, cool. Oh, I need to change. Oh, I need to change them to Duke and Duchess too. Okay, okay. Wait, let me let me do that now. So Duke consort to John. I I think they would take. Yeah, Willow, I guess. It's, um, Rosenthal Willow. Hmm. I didn't think about this, actually. Well, okay, so Duke. He's Duke Con... Will Consort fit? Con consort. <laughs> consort. Oh, yeah. Duke Consort John. Okay. Well, the, let's... Of Willow Creek. Ariana took Sir Thomas Stratton's last name. Um... Duchess and Duke Consort of Willow Creek. But their last name is Rosenthal? I'm gonna keep Rosenthal for now. But they're of Willow Creek. <laughs> Congratulate on marriage. You you married her. Duchess Genevieve. Okay. I might change it to Willow later. I'm I'm honest. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Let me see. Alright, they're they're going now. Attempt. Attempt artificial. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. I feel like Genevieve and John, but like Je oh hello, Amira. I feel like Genevieve would just she just is such a natural like she's just so nurturing. I feel like she's just naturally I, I think she's gonna be a great mother. Oh, oh, okay. There's there's oh hello, Kellen. She's just so nurturing. Nurturing. She's always been so mature. I feel like out of all of the teens, she's probably the most, like, she's not teen anymore, but like out of that group, she was always the most mature. I think her and John are going to be great parents. I love John. He's just, he's just like a wholesome person. I feel like he's just the most like respectful. He's super mature. He's just so sweet. Okay, hopefully the arts, uh, artificial, hopefully the insemination attempt ha will have worked. Okay, I can't read. All right, so we want to take a pregnancy test. Where's the bathroom? Is this the bathroom? Yeah, take pregnancy test. All right. Taking pregnancy test. Let's see. If, let's see if this worked. Obviously, obviously, this would take longer, but you know. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Wait. 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 Okay. There's there's a music, but there was no like celebration thing. Why didn't she get any? Wait. Okay. She's that. Okay. So she's pregnant. Yay. But she didn't like get any sort of indication. You know the like woohoo confetti celebration thing. Interesting. Okay, but yay, she's pregnant, guys. Genevieve's pregnant. Her daughter will be having a baby probably not the next episode, but maybe the one after that. <gasps> yay! Oh yeah, and by the time they do, the the update will be out. The infant update will be out. <gasps> oh guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that. Yay! Oh, they're both so excited. They're both so happy. Did you tell him? Did you tell him you're pregnant? Um, share big news. We're pregnant. Yay! Yay, yay, he's excited, we're both excited. <gasps> yay, guys, guys, they're gonna have a baby, yay. All right.
right, so we are now at the Oasis Springs Palace. We've got Gabriel, Arya, and Enea kind of just here. We already saw two episodes ago that they have gone through like the interview process. They've had people come visit the palace, make sure it's a good place to raise a child, which I've <laughs> we've, we've talked about this a couple episodes ago. Obviously, like in The Sims, there's limits to what we can do, which I'll talk about a bit more in a second. So now we're, uh, I do think this would be like a very much a, a long process and um, there's going to be way more to it than what we're seeing, which is why I do want to do some story posts of this, but obviously in the game, we're just, we're just gonna kind of do it. Let me talk about that in a second. Um, we are first going to, let's just, let's go ahead and do this. So like they, they, they've been waiting for this day for a very long time. Obviously we know Gabriel and Arya. They're so excited to be parents. Um, and of course they've had to like go through a lot that we've seen to be able to be parents. I'm sure that there's been like a lot of disappointments along the way and all of that stuff. So this is the day. Um, we're going to, let's see, relationship with family, pregnancy, adoption, finalize and complete adoption process. So I, I'm actually not 100% sure how this works in the game. So we're about to find out and see. And so what I was thinking, because we are the, the, the up, oh my goodness. Okay. Whoa. Um, okay. Um, so the update is going to be coming out March, <laughs> Twelfth, right? Isn't is this month or March fourteenth? I think that's what it was. I was thinking we can we'll have them adopt a baby, and then when the update comes out, we can age them up into the infant, the the new life stage. I'll be like trying the new update and the new pack and everything on a stream and stuff. So we'll probably not have an episode out by then, but like we'll still get to do some stuff in the next episode, and we'll get to see their baby and everything as well. I do want to say, I'm just I'm gonna talk about this a bit. So um, I, I don't think Gabriel and Ari. I don't think they've specified. I don't think they care if they have a boy or a girl. I think they 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 just want a baby. They've wanted this for a long time. We've we we got to see that. I might just like randomly pick one of these three. Now I I do want to say before before I say anything else, I have talked and of course we've we've seen like a couple characters who are adoptees. We've got Jessica, we have Sissy. Of course, the every situation is different, so that's what I I kind of want to say. And I want to make sure we know just for like the future stuff and for like any story stuff we see in the future, but just for like a general a general saying, I want to mention every adoptee story is different. Every adoptee's experience is different. Every adoptee's opinions is different. You, you there might be an adoptee who they want to find out more about their birth parents. There are adoptees who, who don't care to find out about the, their birth parents and both feelings are completely valid. All feelings are completely valid. I just want to say this because I am for, for all like for Jessica and for Sissy in the past too but it is especially for this because this will be Gabriel and Arya's first child and and typically they do have a bigger story and it, it won't be like their entire story but I, I just it will be it's obviously going to be like prevalent in their life because it's it's a big part of their life but I am talking to like Anya who who, who said it was fine if I mentioned her Anya who made Caspian she is an adoptee and she has been sharing her experience with me she had like her parents they tell told me about their experiences and then also I've mentioned her before but one of my best friends Kira she is an adoptee advocate advocate. Um, she's also adopted. But all, all that to say, I, I just, I, I wanted to hear about as many adoptee stories as possible. It helps if I know them especially too, so I can hear more like personal stories and then obviously doing more research and, and reading about others. And I, I just, I, I, I say all of this to say, I feel like there's a lot of assumptions about uh, the uh, about adoptees in general, and I, I've seen comments about it in the past. And I just want to, I just wanted to make it clear that again, all adoptee stories are, are different, and all adoptees' experiences are different. So what we see here and what we see for their child, like, won't necessarily be like every one's experience. Like, I just, I don't want it to be generalized. We've seen a bit of Sissy. We've seen a bit of, like, Jessica. Obviously not, like, too much in depth. I, I, yeah. I just want to say... I'm sorry, I realize I'm rambling a lot. I just want you guys to know going forward, and we're not going to see a lot of this for a while, but we'll see bits and pieces of their story. But I just want you guys to know I've, I'm making sure to do my research and I'm making sure to hear the stories of, of other adoptees and all that stuff. And and also just to ask you guys to please just be aware of like what you're saying. I, I think some people say things sometimes that are not like it just kind of goes over your head and they might be said like innocently, but hopefully 
hopefully Gabriel and Arya's kids' story can help with that a little bit, I, I guess is, is what I'm trying to say. And you know, if, if you, if you're adopted and you want to like share your experiences in the comments below, maybe like other people can read it and, and learn too about like uh, seeing other people's experiences, other people's stories. Um, obviously don't feel like you have to at all, but if you feel comfortable and you want to share, you are absolutely welcome to. And I, this goes with like uh, representing a lot of things. Obviously like there, there's only so much you can represent, especially in the Sims game, but what we can represent, I, I think it's also safe to say, remember that it's not like one person's experience. Like there's, there's, uh, there's stories, there's people who experience like many different things. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I, that, that was a rant. I rambled for a while. Again, I'm sorry, I'm sick and my brain is not completely here. So hopefully that all came across like how it was meant to. But okay, so again, Gabe and Arya don't care if it's a boy or girl, they, they're just excited to have a baby. So we're, we're going to randomly pick, let me see. Let's do like, oh, that, that didn't even land on a baby, okay. Ernesto. Okay. All right. So we're we're gonna rename the baby. I just I just wanted to pick a random one. So what I want to show in the story post is something a bit different. So um, Anya was telling me that this was her experience. However, this was not my friend Carrie's experience. So again, this is slightly different. I'll, I'll I'll say this while we're waiting. But some adoption agencies they make sure that the parents have a connection with the baby. Otherwise, they won't let you adopt the baby. And they do not all do that. But that seems to be like fairly like positively received so I thought that I, I, I don't I, I thought that would be good for like, Gabriel and Ariel I, I think they would want them to like make sure that they have a connection with the baby beforehand so I do want to do a story post of that uh, we can't really do that with the sims because they don't let you but I just want to say that so you can expect a story post in the future of that but yeah so I a while ago said that I wanted to name a boy of theirs Sahar that was a, a previous king of Oasis Spring was the of Oasis Springs was King Sahar, so it's just like a kind of like a family name. We'll do Prince Sahar Sue. There, guys, they have a baby. I uh, don't know, no, not, not now, Arya. Guys, they have. Where's where's the baby? Where where is the baby? Am I missing something? Oh my gosh, it's in the wall. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm excited for the infant update. We're gonna get like cribs. I wonder if we'll get baby gates so we could like baby gate during parties like what, what I do when I try to get people to not go into bedrooms and stuff. I'm excited. All right, so I, we've already talked about this. I feel like I still get questions about it though. The uh, line of succession currently, it, so Sahar is not crown prince because the line of succession is Arya after Nea, then Manuel, then Prince. I saw people saying like, oh my gosh, King Manuel and Queen Juliet. The likeliness of them actually being king and queen is it's very unlikely because they're like almost the same. Like he's only a couple years younger than she is. Now, we're going to see more about this later in the story. Stay tuned. Don't make too many assumptions yet, but we're, we're, we're going to see more about this later. Uh, but let me grab just a, a crib for Sahar. Okay, a baby. Oh, he's crying. They have a baby boy. Oh, he's probably probably hungry bottle feed. God, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to invite the whole family. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe we can do that um, when, when the infant update comes out. Oh, Naya, no, oh, Naya's changing the day. <gasps> Naya, you have another grandbaby. Oh, the baby's crying. Okay, all right, so hard, sorry. Okay, uh, are, are we gonna, are, oh, hello? Guys, they're so happy, very energized. She's like ready. Oh, they're so excited. Talk. What, what, oh, oh, we'll, we'll do way more when the infant update. Next time we're here, the infant update's gonna be here. Yeah, I wanna invite like all the family so we can all meet the baby. And then we can we can play with the babies and the infants and everything. I don't know if like, Pilapo and Sion. Sahar's probably a tad bit younger than them. Not by much, they honestly might be around the same age. I'm wondering if like with like Palapo and Sione, I might put them in the infant, in, no, oh, I'm so used to saying preset. I might put them in like the infant life stage and then I think MM will definitely be in the infant life stage. So some of the like younger ones that were like just born might end up being in the infant life stage. Definitely Sahar, but I don't, I think Sahar would probably just be like a little bit younger than Pilapo and Sione. Yeah. 
we'll we'll do that in the next episode guys i'm so happy for them i'm like getting emotional i'm so happy for them they 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 they're they're excited they feel so lucky they 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 oh they love their baby i'm so happy for them they might adopt another baby that, that's honestly a possibility i'm not a, a hundred percent sure um i did mention a story post before like ari has kind of always wanted a big family i do think they they might end up adopting another baby but we'll 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 get to that another I, it won't be really like anytime soon soon um we're gonna wait a little bit um but yeah i i did I, I did want to mention that. I'm so excited for that. Okay, I, 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 I'm so tempted to like hang out and, and, and spend more time here, but I, I do really want to wait until we get the infant update because there's gonna be so much we can do once the new pack and everything comes out too. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait to do that in the next episode. Okay, so we are now in Tartosa because the teens are staying here for the weekend. So they, they got to go. This is the Tartosa Seaside Palace. I've already posted uh, streams of me touring the palaces that Victoria made. They're beautiful. Beautiful. So last episode, or not last episode, the episode before that, we were at the main Tartosa Palace. Now this is the Tartosa Seaside Palace, which I thought was really it was just like a nice little getaway for the teens. So we we have Frederick, Jessica, William, Molly Grace, Graham, Nani, Malia, Alice May, and Caspian. Am I forgetting everyone? I think that's everyone. So William is is kind of extra wheeling, but it's, uh, he's fine. They're they're fine. They're making sure that he's included in everything. I I know a couple episodes ago he hooked up with uh, Nyla, but uh, that was really just a hug up. They're not seeing each other or anything. So they're here for the weekend, and I do. Th okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this. So they're they're, they're hanging out. I don't know where's where's Caspian. Is I think they're all just kind of like around. I was gonna have them play cards and stuff. They are. I I feel like because like you know William and and Frederick they had their birthday party and stuff, but I think that they kind of just wanted to have a weekend with their friends and stuff. So this is also them celebrating. They are drinking a tad, but uh, remember it is legal here <laughs> um, for all of them. So the, the ages are different. Uh, so they're, they're, they're celebrating. I don't think Alice May drinks though with like her current medication that she's on now for like antidepressants. I, I, she, do, she doesn't drink on them. I know you can with some, but um, I, I, I don't think with hers that you can. So Alice May is not, I don't think Nani likes to drink either. I, I think that they just prefer not to. Um, they're they're having plenty of fun being completely in control of their body. So you make my day so much better. Oh, William and Frederick, you guys are besties. I love how Cassidy, they're in the kitchen, but they're, oh no, wait, wait. Yeah, Alice, wait, stop drinking this. This is not for you. This is for some, anyone else can have this here. I love that they're just hanging out though. They're like in, in the kitchen. <laughs> they're just hanging out in the kitchen. Um, Let me see. You guys are public now. So I think I think that, oh, let's see, ask a master and interest, caress, cheek, blow, kiss, court, declare love publicly. You did that already. You 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 got you got to be public. I mean, wait, I, I'm gonna do it again, but you guys already kind of did that. And as you guys saw, like it was, if, if you couldn't tell, it, it was like a little overwhelming for Alice May. The press conference might have been a little odd to like do it at, but I just, I think that that's where Amira thought it was best for them to announce it. And they were already gonna be there for the thing. So she was just like, like, well, you might as well tell them everyone here. I think it was like a, a tad overwhelming for Alice May, but um, I, I, I gotta take the headphones off. Um, but Caspian, like, also, he was he was there for her, and, and him being there, his presence there is just very comforting for Alice May, which I mean will be great in the long run. Alice or Caspian being that like support system for her. I, I think, I mean, hopefully, you guys have been able to see through all of the story thing, like, that's kind of a running theme. So, and then of course, we saw that. Oh, Nani and Molly Gray's hugging. Um, we saw that Cass. No, no, no. We saw Kaleo saw it, which set something off in him again. Kaleo, I've already said he he he's, he's kind of refusing refusing to get help, and he's doing his own like self coping, which is not working for him. Um, so he is realizing again after seeing Alice May and Caspian, this still bugs him. He cannot get over her and he, he he wants to but he he just can't so you we were kind of seeing like his current state we will see more of Cleo in the next episode I think I've said that like a couple times like we'll see him soon we will see him more in the next episode also guys look at Graham and Caspian their friendship is so high I feel like they get along so well like they just they vibe well they they're they they're, they're just they they get along great can you guys Graham are you can you go 
C come here, come hither. Why are you and Molly Grace just standing in here? Oh, he's feeling very playful right now. <laughs> Pleasantly satisfied. I think that's from, I think that's from William and Frederick's birthday party, but I, I <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's, why, why don't you? Can, why don't you guys come hang out in here uh, with everyone? Malia, come in here too. Every everyone, we we all want to hang out. Yeah. So I I feel like they're just they're like. Should we put on music? Where's the music? Dancing, having fun, playing cards, just like having a great weekend, all hanging out. Okay, listen to Alternative Electronica. Sure. Okay, so n now, now they can vibe and hang out and dance and stuff. Witnessed inappropriate behavior. Uh, wait, what? From witnessing an improper behavior. There is a time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is a time and a place for everything but it is abhorrent to display such behavior in front of a proper sim. What happened? What did I miss? What is happening? Oh my gosh, Graham is hysteric. Cannot unsee from privacy violation. What happened? Privacy invade? Oh no. Oh, did something happen that I'm completely missing? Oh my gosh. Oh, Alice makes me feel very confident. Smooth talker from having a crush. Oh, you're so cute, Alice May. Oh my God. Shared joy from crushing on someone feeling good. Wait, that's so cute. Wait, what? Seeing, wait, stop it. Oh my gosh. Seeing that someone, Princess AM, oh my God, why does it keep doing this? I just want to read this, please. Uh, see, why won't it let me read her thing? Uh, AM cherishes this feeling happy, brings some joy to Princess AM too. Okay, cool. Okay, great tunes. Oh, wait, uh, Sadira, do you want to leave the kids alone? <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought I put you and Johan somewhere else. You and Johan, go here. Johan's in his robe. Johan had such a dad. Like, I don't know if there's any better way to describe him. He's just like the most dad. He's just a dad. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other way to put that. Why are you all following him? No, Caspian. <laughs> Johan. <laughs> Johan. Johan. <coughs> Stop. I know what. I, the kids are not supposed to follow you. This isn't your time. Control. Jessica, come here, please. Yes. Johan, go away. Malia, please come back. Malia. Oh my gosh, Frederick. Look at Look at these moves, Frederick. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, there we go. I was like, the moves he is busting. Frederick! <laughs> Oh, oh, speaking of Frederick, I, I saw... All right, so in the last episode for the winter... Oh, that's a floating drink. Um, but for, like, the winter episode, um, we saw that Zayori, like, hates Jessica. She, like, wants to become enemies with Jessica, and I mentioned that. And Emma, in the comments, said that she could... She could... Or that her theory was that Zayori has a crush on Frederick and therefore hates Jessica. And I was like... I, <laughs> I love that. I could definitely see that being a thing. I really think Sayori is like, she's so busy. Girl has like so much going on. I think Frederick might've been like nice to her once and she like had a kid crush on him. Honestly, it will probably go away soon, but I can 100% see that being the reason. I, I love that. So I, I wanted to give credit to Emma for that because I thought that was so funny. That makes total sense why Sayori would want to become enemies with Jessica because otherwise we had no idea why. Jessica's feeling very, very playful right now. They're all kind of a little crazy. Alice Mays feeling Feeling very playful. Cassian's feeling very conf warm sipping. Very confident. They're all just they're all just having fun. So I'm gonna do like story posts here and stuff. Also, we got their their dog and their cat, Celeste and Oreo. <laughs> we named them on a stream. This drink is on fire. I just realized that. I didn't realize the drink was like actually up in flames. They're all feeling silly and playful and just dancing. Where's William? William is it, that's Graham. Graham, are you in the hallway talking to yourself? There's William. William, what are you doing? He wanted to talk to you. Ask him to take a picture of you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you sad? The llama cries tonight. Oh dear. Okay. All right. Come dance. Come dance. Every everyone's dancing and vibing together. Okay. So it's starting to get a little bit late. Caspian's feeling very confident. It's starting to get a little bit late. Caspian is getting sleepy. I I wonder if there's like a time difference. Maybe that they would chat with Lee Jani. What if there's like a time difference? Oh, Cas. Oh, Caspian's like. <laughs> 
like in his pajamas. He's he's ready. <laughs> he was ready for bed. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna change it back into his clothes. So yeah, I, I they are staying here for the weekend. Um, I I think that let me see. Okay, well I, I didn't honestly I didn't pick any outfits for them. Uh, for like literally any of them, they're all kind of wearing clothes you guys have probably seen before. So when I do the story post, they will have. They will have other clothes. Um, but Caspi is getting tired. He's had a bit to drink. Alspace, I think it offered to like help him go to bed. <laughs> Let me see. Sit, Caspian. Relax. Can you relax here? Relax. Oh, he, yeah, no, he he was ready for bed. Relax. Yeah, there you go. Alspace's gonna go sit and, and chat with him. I love that they can like sit on the bed like this now. I don't know. I think it's cute. Run it down. No, Caspian, wait. Stop. 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 Oh, what is your what is your want with Alice May? Express devotion. Wait, that's really cute for being loyal. I love that. That's adorable. So, uh, can you talk? Wait, can you can you not talk while you're on the bed? Wait, what? No, it's just not letting me click. Okay, I, I was like, wait, that that seems wrong. Uh, canoodle. They can canoodle. Wait, what is canoodle link? Wait, hold on. Wait, no. Wait, Caspian. What? Is, I have to see what this canoodle link thing is. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> he went to bed. Okay, I feel like that works well. So essentially, here's the thing. There will be story posts of this. You guys are gonna have to tell me too, because I don't know how much into detail I should get. I think I've already said this before, but I, I don't remember. I don't remember how much detail, like, if I tell you guys things in the episode, does it spoil things for the story posts? Or like, if I like give you the general idea, I, I I don't, yeah. Let me know if you guys prefer me to like go into detail in episodes so that you're okay seeing it in, in story posts, like seeing the exact, uh, like more detail, but like essentially already knowing what's gonna happen in the story post or like, should I be giving vague? Why is there food in here? Should be giving more situational telling in, in episodes and then like, like you guys find out more in the story posts. Caspian's up now. Um, I feel like he's like in and out of sleep. So I feel like he's kind of being a lot more open with Alice May than uh, most other times he has before. He's compliment her outfit short. And he's tired too. He's just kind of saying whatever. I'm debating, sorry, I'm debating how much to tell you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys. And then you can tell me if you want me to like, say less next time but basically i think he would be like talking to her telling her like he, he's so happy that they're they're official now that he he doesn't have to hide the relationship anymore he's just so happy they are where they are so yeah he's, he's like telling her how he feels and just kind of like opening up to her they're just like talking caspian just like starts to kind of tell her why he complained about pair wait this fight worked so kind of opens up and tells her he's known he's loved her for a long time but it took him so long to say it because of why his parents got divorced, why he thinks his parents got divorced. So he's complaining now. But I think this is the first time Alice May is realizing. So if you guys remember from episode, I've, 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 I've talked about it. Oh shoot, I already forgot the episode off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen. But we saw when Alice May was little, she was gonna go try to find her parents and she overheard Caspian's mom telling her parents why her and Malayko got divorced. That was a long time ago. Alice May was a kid. She, she wasn't even really friends with Caspian at the time. She, she, it was so long ago to the point where Alice May has like, like she's like known in the back of his head, but Caspian doesn't ever talk about his parents' divorce really. So it's just never really come up. And I think in Alice May's mind, she thought Caspian knew. Like like she thought like now, oh, he, it's been so long. He must know at this point. Like she thought his parents would have told him by this point. So Caspian saying this now is her realizing for the first time, Oh my God, he doesn't know. And she is, I think she would be freaking out. I feel like Caspian would be telling her this as he's literally about to fall asleep. So we're gonna, Caspian, have you go to bed. Um, it's like the last thing he has said to her and Alice May is realizing this and like, oh my gosh. And then looks back at Caspian to try to say something and he's like out, like he's just passed out. You know that like Patrick meme where he's like passed out on the couch. That is what Caspian is right now. So can I like uh, fashionably wrecking though oh, from Caspian? complimenting you. Flirt, wait, hold on. I'm trying to do a story here. Caspian, you gotta go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. I know I know your girlfriend's beautiful and you wanna talk to her, but hold on, I got a story thing. Can I make Alice May tense? Sad? She would be feeling so many emotions, I think, right now. We're, we're gonna go with tense for now. I think she's like, she's tense. She's scared. She's sad. She's She doesn't, I think she's just like a lot of emotions right now and like freaking out. And now I 
think she's going downstairs like, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And Caspian's asleep. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to say. She's like, should I have told him? Should I? What should I do? What should I say? Oh, can you not come downstairs, Alice May? Teleport here. Okay, there you go. All right, you've teleported. Okay, so can someone check on her? Nani. Nani's the only one not drinking here. All right, so Nani sees Alice May and they see her freaking act tough. No, don't act tough. No, comfort your friend. Fret about dancing. Wait, uh, uh can you bring, ask about day? Okay, just just comfort comfort Alice May. I feel like I, I'm sure there's craziness going on. I'm sure Molly Grace is like, what's going on too? What is happening? Why are you so tense? Friendly. Okay, okay, we, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, what is happening? There's so much happening. What's going on? They're like freaking out about Molly Grace. I feel like they'd go into a room, but can you go outside or something? Like get her out. I feel like Nani would realize Alice May's freaking out and be like, okay, I need to get Alice May like just, somewhere calm. They're not leaving. Why aren't you leaving? Get her to leave. Can you, can you go? Or, oh my gosh, literally anywhere else, please. Somewhere. Just, they'd probably like, I don't know, go in the bathroom or something. I feel like that's a place to go usually. Okay, Alice May, here. Go here. Okay, all right, all right, now, all right. No, Malia, why are you? Okay, Malia should not be leaving. Can you like vent? Complain about problem? All right, all right, just, I think Alice May would just start spilling everything. I, I think she's freaking out. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to say. She trusts Nani. She knows Nani's not gonna say anything. Like, I, obviously this is stuff about Caspian, but like, she knows Nani's not gonna say anything. Nani's one of her best friends. So she's like just venting to Nani and, and all right, deep, deep conversation. She's freaking out. Nani's trying to like calm her down a bit. Basically like, what's going on? What happened? So Alice May's just telling them everything about Caspian, um, what she heard when she was young. And now Caspian apparently like, doesn't even know that this is the truth. Like, like she thought Caspian would have would have known by now. And I think Nani's just like trying, trying to comfort her, trying to help her. Just trying to say like, hey, it's okay, it's okay. I think Nani, I, I think people are gonna have a bunch of different opinions about this. I do wanna say guys too, um, cause I know, I know that obviously there's things that people think like, no, they should have done this, or they should have done this, or like, this isn't the right thing to do, all that kind of stuff. Some of the stuff is like based off of things that have actually happened. So like, I, I know, Oh, some things might oh, I mean and and there I, not every character is going to do the right thing. I, I think that goes to show. I think that's, I'm not, the, the stories aren't like, obviously I want to have like good rep and if I'm ever doing something like really poorly or like doing something, like giving something bad rep, like uh, please tell me, um, I would be nice about it, but like, please tell me, I, I, I do want to know, but I don't think stories should be like, a, this is what you should do in life. The, the, what this character's doing, this is what you should do. I don't think that's what stories are meant to be like. I don't think that's why they exist. You need things to go wrong to have a plot. No one is perfect. Characters are going to make mistakes. Mistakes, I think that's very much goes to show. Obviously things are like exaggerated more because it's like they're royalty and it's like a story and, and all that stuff. But some things, I, I, I won't say what exactly, I won't go into detail with it, but I do gather inspiration of things that have happened. I just want to say that. So like, yes, things might be like, oh my God, they shouldn't have done that. But it's like, yeah, no, probably they shouldn't have. That doesn't mean people don't do wrong things sometimes. So I just want to say that moving forward because we're about to get into some like real heavy stuff. And if it's ever too much, anything like that, absolutely, please, you're, you're welcome to step away. I'm going to put trigger warnings for anything that is like very heavy and, and all that stuff. So so yeah, I, I just want to say that. I, I want to say even if something, if something seems off or like why are they doing that, they shouldn't do it. It's not like I'm not doing, they're not doing it in the story to be like, people should do this and it's okay because that's not what we're trying to say some of this stuff just happens some of this stuff is just based off experience i'm just it's it's just telling a story that that's all it's i'm it's telling a story of things that people have done i don't know if that's the best way to put it but i just want to say that before we move into anything more okay okay so um oh no nani's leaving now wait nani come back I, i'm sorry i was talking too much okay so nani's coming back I'm going to help Alice May. So yeah, so Alice May's freaking out about this. I think Nani would, would just be like, hey, like it, it's not, like you, you, first of all, you didn't know he didn't know. I, I think Nani, I feel like Nani would also say something along the lines of like, cause Alice May's probably like, do I tell him? Like, I don't know what to do. I think Alice May's just upset because like she feels bad for Caspian because he doesn't know this stuff and she's just like, he doesn't deserve this. It, it's just, a, I think it's just a lot and very overwhelming for her. I think Nani, they're just helping Alice May brainstorm things like what they can do. Like, like basically, saying it's probably not Alice May's 
place to tell Caspi and that, sh and maybe that should come from the parents. I think they're gonna figure out what to do. Uh, Alice may will probably, we, we won't do this in this episode. Honestly, I'm not sure if we'll see it in the next episode, but I will do a story post. So Alice may probably, I feel like she would want to like, I I, I think the way she wants to handle this, and, and we'll see this more later too, she'll probably say something to her parents, probably admit that, that like she knows about it, probably want to see if like they could say something to, to Nia or Maleko. Oh, Molly Grace is going through a phase, oh dear, okay. Um, or, or Maleko, uh, just to kind of like see if they can tell Caspian, just because it, Alice May's just in a very, it is a hard place to be in. Like it's it's not her place necessarily, but like she she has this information that she knows and she doesn't want to keep it from Caspian. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to have to like lie to Caspian, like all that kind of stuff. So it's just, it's a very tricky situation. She's going to try to figure out like the best way to approach it. We're, uh, this, this information, I I, I showed this so long ago, so I, I know a lot of people had forgotten about it too, but I did like a little flashback or like previously on the royal family, like that kind of thing. But I, yeah, on that note, I think we're gonna end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I have no idea how long this is. It feels kind of short, but every time I edit it, it like ends up being longer. Like episodes end up being longer. Plus we have like the mission event and everything. So I'm not 100% sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm happy to like get back into things. I mentioned in the last, in the last episode, um, so in case you missed it, I, I do have a full-time job now, um, so I thought that videos might end up being more frequent, but I, I don't think that's gonna end up being the case. I think an episode is gonna end up coming out like probably every every two months or so, um, but I, I appreciate you guys who are still here. I know content has been so slow, and I, I wish more than anything that I, it didn't have to be that way, but I really enjoy doing this still. Even if I do have like my full-time job, this is still like, so much fun. I love storytelling. I love you guys. I love this community and, and you guys just mean so much. I, I, I went into this whole spiel of the last video or the last episode. Um, so I, I won't do it again, but I, I just wanted to say that because um, I, I do enjoy this a lot. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm really thankful for all of you guys who are still here. It means so much to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, we got, we got Jen and John. They're gonna be having a baby in probably a couple episodes. We're gonna be getting the new, the new update and the new pack for the, like the infants and stuff. And I'm so excited for that. Ari and Gabriel have a baby. They have a baby boy, Prince Sahar. And I'm so excited for pictures with him. And then we had Cedric and Sterling. They got to go on their movie date, which we were very excited for. And then we got to see the teens. We're continuing our story we're gonna see in a couple episodes we're setting up for something big and so you, there's some big story stuff that's gonna be happening soon and uh, I don't know if anybody is ready I'm not ready uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll it's gonna be great <laughs> okay anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button if you did if you have not already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video bye